What's up guys, welcome to the channel, welcome to reviews on anything. My name is Peter and today we're having a look at some lovely things from Germany. You can probably tell by the logo here on the box already, Sternsteiger in Zollingen, Germany, which is by many considered to be the knife capital of at least Europe, but probably even the world. Now Sternsteiger is a relatively small knife brand from Zollingen, plain and knife brands out there, uh, but it's a particularly small company that makes uh, exceptionally nice quality knives. We've looked at a few on this channel already and this is their latest offering. Comes in a box, uh, which obviously doesn't add anything to the cutting experience itself, but it is quite nice that it is presented in such a nice way, especially when you want to give this as a gift to somebody. Here it is in all its glory. This is the Germanicum Arminius knife, which is part of a, a bigger line. There's also a paring knife, a bread knife, and even a Santoku knife. Uh, but this is the 19 and a half centimeter chef knife, your jack of all trades the one that you'll probably use most in the kitchen. Now, I hope you can see it properly on camera. I'll try to move the knife around a little bit, uh, but there is a very distinct pattern here on the blade of the knife. And if you know anything about knives, that is uh, signifying that this is a Damascus knife, which means layered steel. Uh, this one in particular has 440 layers, so claims Sternsteiger, uh, making it very durable and very rigid. Uh, and not to mention, it looks fantastic. I'll put it side by side with a stainless steel knife in a bit, uh, but it is a very nicely looking knife. So what are we working with here? Well, it is a chef knife, so this is your jack of all trade knife, like I said. You'll use this uh, for anything from cutting chicken to chopping onions and everything in between. So it is uh, pretty much your all round knife. Uh, obviously, you can get specialized knives. You know, this is probably not the best knife to fillet a fish, and it's probably not the best thing to start chopping uh, pork chops, uh, but this is effectively a knife that can do it all. We have a 19 and a half centimeter uh, blade, about four and a half centimeters wide. Damascus steel, like I said, with 440 layers. Uh, moving down here, we have a very nice bolster and a very nice uh, finger guard here in the corner. Then the handle itself is full walnut. Uh, they're pretty proud of that, uh, which again uh, requires, uh, you know, a little bit more than just stamping it out. This is actually something with texture, something with pores, something that breathes. Uh, very nice. So just on appearances, this is a very fine piece of work. It's almost a work of art, uh, you could argue. And it's a knife that you have, uh, you know, on display in your kitchen if you are into knives. And that's definitely something you can be proud of. And that is maybe an interesting uh, point to cover right away. This is indeed a knife that you can be proud of. And it's also a knife that is not for people that just want something to cut with. Uh, there's other things for that that are much better. And that is mainly due to the steel that is used. I'll show you the comparison with a normal stainless steel blade and see if I can line them up properly. You can see the difference uh, right away. Obviously, this is a stainless steel knife, uh, you know, nothing going wrong there. Cut your vegetables, cut your chicken and all as well. And it looks like a knife, it feels like a knife and it does its job. Which is fine, this is just a knife that serves its purpose to cut things and forget about it, you know, all is well. This though, thanks to the high carbon steel that is used, uh, maybe you can see it already, uh, is a knife that is alive, if you want to call it that way. Uh, it's a knife that is prone to oxidation, it's a knife that requires care and love from you in order to keep it into good shape. Uh, which means oiling it uh, regularly after use, which means washing it properly after every use, uh, storing it dry, making sure it is taken care of properly. It also means you know, uh, starting to sharpen them with grinding stones and so on in order to keep the knife in optimal condition. And that is really something to consider with this knife. It is, uh, you know, obviously it's a tool for in the kitchen, but this is also a knife you develop almost a personal relationship with, if you want to call it that way, uh, because, you know, you have to work to keep the knife in tip-top condition. And that uh, is something that requires, you know, time and effort, fair enough, but it's also something that will give you uh, great pleasure in using it and also gives you a lot of reward in using it because the knife will perform better as you take better care of it. Now this knife has performance to boot which is obviously to be expected from a brand new knife but it's razor sharp and it is very very nice to work with in the kitchen. I actually own several Sternsteiger knives, they are my main go-to knives in the kitchen and this is just another example of knives that uh, where form follows function in the design. It doesn't only look beautiful, it actually goes like it should as well. It is a very pleasant uh, knife to hold. It's nice and balanced as you might expect, uh, but it's also a knife that is very 
ergonomically designed. So this is how I hold the knife with a bit of a pinch grip as you can see and still the handle is nicely long towards the end of my hand and there's even some extra room left. Here on the part where my fingers go there's the finger guard which is a nice position for in this case my middle finger to rest and then my thumb and my index finger can go around the knife like so and I have a very sturdy and solid grip on the knife. My only complaint would be uh, that the edge here is very sharp, that is literally where the knife ends. Now there are knife designs where this is a bit more rounded off, uh, which is in my case slightly, uh, I wouldn't say uh, less dangerous, but more comfortable because I tend to have my middle finger move towards sort of the side of the blade as well and then I get pinched here on the corner. Uh, but that is easy to work around by just keeping my middle finger here before the finger guard. Overall it is very nice to hold in the hand and you can actually put a nice bit of pressure on the knife especially here on the solid part that's in the middle part of your hand along the bolster. It's a very nice place to have your hand rest and apply power to the knife. Uh, you don't have to apply too much power though because obviously the knife does most of the work for you and a knife of this caliber and at this price point as well should. So has Sternsteiger done it once again? Have they delivered a great knife? I think so. Um, with the side note that it is certainly not a knife for everybody. This is a knife for knife lovers. A knife for people who want to spend time with the knife and want to spend time on their knife. The work that you have to put in to keep this knife in a good condition is certainly not something that everybody's willing to do. Uh, but they're not aiming for the mass market. At this price point and with this level of design and craftsmanship uh, they are aiming for a small niche of people who is excited about knives, who likes to show off their knives and who likes to put in the work to keep their knives in great condition. And this is certainly a knife that if you put that work in it will reward you every single time you cut anything. I think it's a great design uh, with a great looking knife that also performs uh, as it should at this price point. And I think Sternsteiger has done a great job in producing this and making sure uh, that through Kickstarter in this case uh, it is also available to as many people as possible. This is Peter from Reviews on Anything with a look at the Germanicum Arminius, the chef knife from Sternsteiger in Zolingen. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel. That always helps us out a lot. And I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers!